Hi, I'm Eric Kunz with Furuno, and today I'd like to introduce you to our new version 3.01 software upgrade for our TZ Touch 2 MFD line. The 3.01 software upgrade includes many new features, and today I'm just going to introduce you to a few of the more significant ones, including integration with our new DRS-4D NXT Doppler Solid State Radar, as well as integration with the new Active Captain database capability that we've put into this system, as well as cloud storage features, serious audio control and display capability, and some synchronization for brilliance and a couple other features. With integration with our new DRS-4D Doppler solid state radar, we've now provided some new features that are unique to, to marine radar. In this case, I'll go through and turn on the actual transmit mode and then you'll see our traditional multicolor display. But from there, we can go in and turn on the target analyzer mode, which is the new feature that really leverages our Doppler signal processing technology. And target analyzer mode actually has two different modes. One is designed to look just at targets, and the other one allows you to actually bring in and show rain clutter as well in a separate color. Let's talk about the actual uh, target mode first. In this case, we have the target analyzer turned on, which is a completely automatic mode, and it turns all the targets on the screen green, except for the targets that are a threat to you moving at a, at a speed of more than three knots. And the targets that are moving more than three knots will turn red. And the nice thing about this mode is that for novice operators, you can just look at the screen, see everything that's green is either stationary or not a threat, and just concentrate and focus on the red targets. It makes uh, interpretation of the radar image much easier. From there we can actually go in and turn on the rain mode in target analyzer as well which adds another color and the nice thing about Doppler technology is that we can actually dis distinguish between targets and rain quite easily. Rain will be showed in a blue color which is unique for this new Doppler signal processing. The next significant feature we've introduced with 3.01 software is integration with the popular Active Captain Points of Interest user database. And within, with this integration, I can go in and simply swipe up to my layers menu and turn on Active Captain. From there, you'll see I can touch and get rid of it and show different points of interest information all over the display. If I go down here, you can see both red and blue, also green and yellow icons that are points of interest that have been put in by users like you. In this case, if I touch on any one of those icons, I can bring up information, uh, basic information, or click show details to bring up detailed information about a particular point of interest. It's really nice. It leverages the built-in Wi-Fi capability, so you can, anytime you'd like to, simply uh, turn on the Wi-Fi capability, use your phone or the marina's Wi-Fi uh, um, hotspot to basically update all of the points of interest data in the Active Captain database. The next significant software feature that's provided with 3.01 is the capability to display and control serious audio information. If I swipe from right to left, I can bring up the, uh, this menu and turn on Sirius Audio. From there you'll see the minimized bar and I can actually control both volume and channels from here. Or if I bring up the full screen, you can see that I'm actually showing all the different information that's available for this, this channel, as well as our preset buttons. The preset buttons are nice because if I find a channel that I like to, for example, jam on channel 29 on Sirius, I can just pick a particular preset, press and hold it, and assign channel 29 to that preset. It's really simple to set up six presets or however many you use. I can also control the audio uh, the volume from here or mute it and then when I'm done I can simply minimize it again and go back to our normal screen. So you can see down here if I want to get rid of it I would just go collapse it or swipe again and bring it up one more time. It's really easy, it's useful, and you can control your audio that way instead of using a dedicated controller. Sirius Audio Control is compatible with Furuno's BBWX3 Sirius Weather Module and an active subscription. Also with this new software, we're introducing cloud setting backup features that allow you to leverage the built-in Wi-Fi capability in the TZ Touch 2 MFDs. These features introduce some things like friend friend finder mode where you can find other friends who are also online using TZ Touch 2 
and also is backing up certain system settings. In the future, we'll expand that to allow even more setting backups and really leverage the cloud storage capabilities. Another new feature with this software is the capability to synchronize brilliant settings between displays. In this case, I'll touch the display and change the brilliance, and you'll see that we're synchronizing not just one, but several displays on the same bridge. That's easy to set up, and it's built into this new software. Another new feature with this software is the capability to display route information in a data box at the top of the display. In this case, I'll expand a route, and you'll see that information appear for any route, so I can collapse and expand any route and just see the basic information, such as the total distance of the route, the time of the route that's going to take me based on my average cruising speed that I input into the system, as well as another new feature which allows me to just touch on any point in the route and instantly bring up a bottom bubble that shows you that I can move the route without putting my finger over it. This is a new feature for 3.01. It allows me to precisely place a, a, a point in the route without having to put my finger over the top of it. Once I'm happy with where I've placed or tweaked that route point, I can then just say end move and I've locked that information in. If the information changes, I can note it and then I can easily go back and hide that information again. We've also greatly improved the chart management catalog page. If I go to my home screen and bring up the catalog, you can see now we've actually categorized the information and you can go in and filter the information based on whether you want to see a vector chart or a list of vector charts or raster charts or satellite photos as well. It's much easier to sort through and determine exactly what's in your machine as far as charts go. These are just a few of the highlights and software features that are provided with this new upgrade. For more information, visit our website at www.farunausa.com. Go to the product pages for TZ Touch 2 and go into the software tab where you can find the software revision history for detailed information.